Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Espresso right here on SABC3. Now it is time for us to head to the kitchen where we will be cooking with guavas. Now no one knows where guavas were first grown and according to tradition, um, it was thought to be poisonous up until a Filipino boy decided, you know what, he's going to pray instead for the fruit to bless. And man oh man, aren't we glad he did. So this morning we are absolutely going crazy for guavas in the Espresso kitchen and we're exploring all things, well, guava of course, but more specifically tinned guavas. Now did you know that a single guava contains four times the amount of vitamin C than an orange? And guavas are in season when it comes to spring and summer, but luckily, thanks to Ku, we can enjoy them all year round. And this morning, uh, Moira is here to share some of her favorite ways to enjoy guavas. Moira, Hello, lovely you. to have you. Man, what is bread? We have a Look huge spread, yes. Hey? So you're going to be sharing some of your favorite ways to, to incorporate guavas into recipes. I am, and um, I grew up a lot with guavas, so um, yeah. we used to have it just with cream or ideal milk or ice cream. So this is one option. So yeah. there's one option. And then we've got a, um, a lovely fridge tart, which is really, it's very simple. It's just roll the guavas and a lovely cream, condensed milk type cream oh, um, topping. looks amazing And with well. some peanut brittle. But the recipe I wanted to really share with you is um, a guava cake. And it's a okay. char guava. There's not many flavors that go well with guava. Yeah. So, but you'll find like white chocolate and char flavored, which is like your cardamoms and your ground ginger, works really well. Okay, So let's get into it. Because so this it's is our chai guava cake. cake. I yeah. love it. All right. All right. So so um, what we're going to do here, if you want to come across, All right. um, we've got some eggs in our pan. All right. We're going to add in um, some caster sugar. Brilliant. Okay. And some, let's add in our lemon rind and um, our cream. We can do it separately, um, but I just find that this way I get a lot more okay. flavour deliverance. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it on and we're going to whip it up so it's light and airy. All right. Okay. So, so the butter we, we don't do just yet? We first do the eggs, okay. all right? Um, and just to incorporate some of the, the egg, egg, eggs with the sugar. Yeah. And that helps the sugar to melt. So we want to just get a little bit of aeration into it. So I'm going right. to put it on a little bit higher. You go for it, you go for it. So this recipe is you're going to make like a, a cake batter yes. with the spices in, the char spices. Okay. And then we're going to put it into a cake tin, top it with guava and bake. I love it. Um, and then we're going to put a nutty topping on halfway through the process. Be done. All yeah. right. Well, in the meanwhile, if you want to get your hands on our chai guava cake this week that we're busy making at the moment, you can just SMS the keyword KU to 33728. Chef Moira sharing some of her favorite ways to enjoy guavas. She showed us this fridge tart a little bit earlier on as well. If you want the recipe for that, you can just log on to our website, expressoshow.com. All right, so I've added in our seasoning now, our spices, which is our ground cardamom, ground ginger, um, and your, your chai spices to come through. All right. Okay, I'm adding in the, the self-raising flour, and then you'll see I'm putting it back down because I want to add the butter, but you don't add the butter now because the, the, it's cold oh, and I it'll, see. it'll start clumping. Okay. So you, you put it on um, slowly yeah. so you don't get flour everywhere, and as it's <laughs> mixing, you slowly add in your butter. Okay. okay. There we go. You can do this by hand, but it's going to be rather labor intensive. You know what? It's not so labor intensive. Really? So, yeah, you just get a whisk. Make sure you got a whisk. Okay. A guy with a strong hand like you. Like you. And you're starting and, and 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 lacquer. Yeah. You're starting and clits. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. Hey. And this is really a, a decadent um, dish. Oh, and you, can you it. smell the cardamom coming out? Absolutely. All right. Okay. All right. Let's put it over there. All right. And you'll see there's a little bit more flour that's around so you just bring it together again don't stir yeah. it you want to keep the air you within the inside the air. all right okay. you can add your white chocolate in if you want to but i'm going to keep it separately okay. and we put the, we put the batter in first all right and if you just lined it with some I've some just lined paper. it with, with some baking paper. Um, if you wanted to serve it as a tart, you don't. You can serve it in in an in oven dish. Perfect. Container. Just, yeah, make sure All you right. get every last drop out of there, man. <laughs> All right, and then you, there's your, you get the white chocolate. All right. All right, I'm going to take the the cool guavas and I've chopped them and we're going to put so them just, on the top. All right. So All this right. just goes on there. Correct. Can I just sprinkle it on? Yes, you can. <gasps> yes, decadent indeed. Look at that. All of it. I think this you is, can use all of it. I think we should use all of this white chocolate. Right. Don't be shy. All right. All right and I'm just going to use my hands um, for the guavas, and we're going to just sprinkle it on the top. And you can have as much fruit, and you can try all the different other fruits as well. Yeah. Um, but I find the guava works really well with these char flavors. That's it. All right. And then it's going to go into the oven, um, 180 for 40 minutes. Um, but halfway through, you're going to take it out, and then you're going to put a, a nut topping on. Okay. So the nut topping, how do we get to that? All right. So we, let's just show the viewers how to make um, the topping. Okay. We've got some almonds. If you can help me here. All right. Um, we're going to add in um, some chas seasoning. All right. Once again. All right. 
then you add in your other nuts, um, pecan nuts. You can use any nuts that you prefer. I All like right. almonds and um, pecan nuts or macadamia nuts. Mm. works well. Oh, that you want a chunk, nice. and then you put in a bit of caster sugar, a right. little bit of cream, and then um, you would put honey. You put honey in. Okay. Okay. And then lastly, we'll add uh, melted butter. All right. You want to get the honey out Brilliant. there. Brilliant. I'll get it out there for you. All right. All right, let's see if we can get it. There we go. Oh, there we go. So just a dash of honey. Okay. Oh, delicious. And then we, we lastly, nice. while I add it, then you stir so it also, again, doesn't go hard. All right, go for it. Right. Look at this. There we go. And that you would make just, just before you take in the cake out of the oven, you'd put it over the cake, um, and yeah. then you put it back into the oven back to in finish it. I think it's about 10 minutes. Easy as that. All right. Well, you know what? You know, what? if you want to get your hands on the recipe, this is absolutely delicious using guavas in the most interesting way. Chef Moira sharing her favorite ways with us. SMS is the keyword Q to 33728 if you want to get your hands on the recipe for our chai and guava cake. And uh, if you would like to get the recipe for the fridge tart that Moira spoke about as well, you can log on to our website. It'll be there at uh, www.expressoshow.com. But here's one last look at how we made this nut watering guava cake. For the cake, cream eggs and sugar together. Mix in the lemon rind, butter, cream, spices, flour and white chocolate chips. Pour into cake tin and top with Koo guavas. Bake for 40 minutes. For the topping, mix flaked almonds, pecan nuts, butter, caster sugar, cream, spices and honey. For the tart, lay a Swiss roll into a dish. Top with Koo guavas and pour the syrup over. Mix condensed milk, vanilla essence, lemon zest and lemon juice. Fold in the whipped cream, then spoon over the guavas. Top with the peanut brittle. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to double three seven two eight to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. I'm sure you would agree that looks mouth-watering. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 and you could be making this by yourself at home, a delicious, delicious dessert using guavas. So you just uh, finished off it with some, 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 some extra guava. guavas and then just a sprinkling of the um, icing sugar and then served with ice cream or cream if you want to, or just as is. Maura, thank you so much for sharing some of your favorite recipes. Once again, the keyword for our chai and guava tart here this morning, SMS the keyword KU to 33728. And if you want to get your hands on the recipe for the fridge tart that looks just as mouth-watering, you can log on to our website, expressoshow.com. But if you love guavas as much as Moira does, I'm sure that you've got plenty of recipes to share. Why not email some of them to us at food at expressoshow.com and Moira might just be chatting about your guava recipe be live on air. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.